Hello everyone. Hello. Good day to you. Good night to you. Mm -hmm. We just want to thank God for this awesome privilege and responsibility, opportunity we have to meet you again. We are the Nelsons, Pastors Anthony and Cheryl mm -hmm. from Faith 5 Fellowship of Ministries located in Canada. We want to thank God for this opportunity of coming to you today in this awesome week of mm -hmm. Passover week. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the Passover week. It's the week where we prepare ourselves mm -hmm. for that time mm -hmm. in remembering yes. what Christ mm -hmm. did, Jesus mm -hmm. did for us mm -hmm. when he went to the cross. Mm -hmm. And so if you find yourself in an isolation today, Mm -hmm. You know that he has you on his mind. Absolutely. The Bible says that he's touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Yes. And he understands exactly what we're walking through individually, mm -hmm. collectively. And he understands. And God has provided for us, according to the scripture, a way for us to handle right now. Yes. This kind of isolation. Yes. And loneliness that will come upon people in the time right now. Mm -hmm. And the thing, as you said, isolation, yes. because some of us are really in self-isolation. We are mm -hmm. not able to go out, mm -hmm. possibly because of our age mm -hmm. or our stage in life. But we look forward to this time leading up to now that we get together with families because we're mm -hmm. away from mm -hmm. work. We get this time off or less amount of activity would be happening. Mm -hmm. than the norm, where we've come to a real standstill. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is wanting us to look to Him. Mm -hmm. Yes, I said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because He's over all of this. Yes. He really understands where you are right now. Yes. I want to speak to that young woman, that young man, that you're looking forward to this Easter, to be with family or to be in your church groups and to celebrate and to share the message of the kingdom and just to be a part of it. But like Christ, there comes a time when there are, you, you are all by yourself. I mean, the internet is good, but the internet can hug you, touch you, mm -hmm. talk to you. That's right. And uh, we want to send a word of encouragement to you right now. Yes. You know that greater than what's going on right now in this season concerning the corn virus is the epidemic called loneliness. Yes. A lot of North Americans, a lot of people in our world are in alone. The world. They are alone. They are with people, but they are alone. So you want to address the fact that Jesus was there alone praying in the midst of his greatest trial. Yes. When people are around him, but yet they were not connected to what he was going through. Yes. And, we, and we recognize that today. And so we want to speak to you to encourage your heart that no matter how you feel, you are never alone. Yes. God promised you that I will never leave you not forsake you, yes. and with you always. Mm -hmm. And when the future looks dim to you, remember the promises of God yes. that says that I will never allow you to be tempted beyond which you're able to bear. Yes. But in the midst of every temptation, there is a way of escape. So look around for your escape route. Yes. Look around for what God is giving you to stand up under this. Yes. Don't complain about your situation. Open your eyes to see what God has provided for you yes. that you be able to withstand these days and overcome. That's true. He provides relationships. Mm -hmm. Look at your relationship. Mm -hmm. He's provide, and I said relationships mm -hmm. because that is how God is relational. Mm -hmm. He's relational. He's always looking to connect with us. That's why he created us in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so I want you to look at your today, mm -hmm. today, this time, this moment, even as you're listening to this, Look at your relationship with mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Reconnect with him or connect with him for the first time. Mm -hmm. Stop and look within. Mm -hmm. Stop and hear what he could be saying to you in this scenario, in this situation, in this time that you mm -hmm. feel that you're alone and he's not with you. Mm -hmm. He's right there and he's waiting for you to call out to him. So yes. wait on the Lord. We're, we're leave it with you. You yes. know, I learned in my personal journey with Christ that... My emotions yes. are a terrible master. Yes. My emotions will come upon me suddenly. Mm. My feelings will come upon me suddenly. That's true. Without warning. Yes. Take over me. And then they yes. move away the facts. 
Yes. And facts no longer can speak because of how I feel. Wow. Then I have depression. Yes. When I feel depressed because there's no hope. Yes. And then I feel oppressed like something holding me back. Yes. I don't want to eat. I don't want to look outside. Mm -hmm. These are literally killers to the soul. Can you and turn that around? And a lot of people in our world yes. are facing that now. Can you just speak to that? So I just want to pray right now to you to understand again. God is still on the phone. And Jesus Christ went to the cross. Yes. He went to the cross knowing fully well what you and I are experiencing today. Mm -hmm. And he has promised you. Yes. And his promises are yea and amen. That's right. I'm not asking your feelings or what you feel right now. The promises of God to you in this Easter season, this Passion Week, is simply this. I will never leave you. And I will never forsake you. Yes. And I am with you. There is no quarantine on God's love. Yes. No quarantine on God's grace. Yes. And I pray today that you will sense his presence. Yes. His anointing through the word of God. Yes. For the presence of God. Yes. And that you will literally be able to pick up the phone and call somebody. Yes. Pray for somebody. Yes. Because when I'm connecting with somebody, even by the voice, that really picks my spirit up. I have found out the more I give out, is the more it comes back to me. So sitting down and saying, well, nobody's calling you. Nobody cares about you. Don't listen to that. Yes. Pick up the phone and call somebody. That's right. Email somebody. Text somebody. Yes. Because it's in giving that you receive. That you receive. Can we just pray now? Yes, Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. My brothers and sisters, as we face this Passover week, yes. like you, Jesus, you didn't listen to the crowd mm. because you knew, Lord, that it's your presence yes. that's going to take him through yes. Calvary, yes. the Garden of Gethsemane, yes. and the fact that people were not there for him as they should. Mm. And Father, I pray for those right oh, now who, who believe yeah. that nobody's there for yeah. me. Yeah. Nobody cares yeah. about me. Yeah. Nobody isn't thinking about me. Yeah. Lord, I rebuke that lie right now in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. I declare that even now that they will shut down what they're hearing and that your Holy Spirit will speak to them words of comfort, yes. words of deliverance, yes. words of healing yes. to everyone that hears this right now. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for breakthroughs this week. Fresh revelation, fresh impartation, yes. and fresh understanding of what Christ did for us at Calvary. Mm. Father, I thank you now for victory this week in jesus name for my friends in jesus name i pray amen 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 thank you so much for being with us yes and next week mm -hmm. remember once a month mm -hmm. we are on praise yeah. fm yeah. and so if you go to praise.fm mm -hmm. you will find us there Absolutely. on tuesday night at 7 30 p.m eastern standard time mm -hmm. and if you want to also visit us you can mm -hmm. go to our youtube channel mm -hmm. you can go to our website faith the number five center so dot com so mm -hmm. hope to see you sometime and hope to hear from you have a great time with the lord as he has you where he wants you listen to him Amen. bye bye